I feel like it's been a baptism of fire, like getting back into boat life. The water tanks are zero. We have no water. I think it's like at least 80% self-inflicted. Just changed beds for a minute. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow, there's loads of there. Could you do me a favour? Mm -hmm. There's a bucket, there's a red bucket. In the cockpit? Yeah. Can you go and empty it? Empty Which it. Nothing in it. Bring it back to me. So our uh, water maker is water maker. yes like exactly it. I know. It's, it's accepting responsibility for all things. <laughs> it's uh, acting up on us and it's um, making water, but it's not putting it into the tank. Mm -hmm. And it's saying that we have a pre-filter issue, and unfortunately um, we have spare carbon filters, but we don't have the two pre-filters. So Nick's trying to sort it out with um, some very colorful language. Yeah. The water maker and Nick sound really similar right now. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. We're all gonna Everything's gonna be fine. I'm Teresa, this is Nick, and this is Ruby Rose 2, our floating home. Join us as we settle into life on board our brand new catamaran, documenting our adventures and never shying away from the reality of boat life. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment because we love to hear from you and a big thanks to our community of patrons. We um, we washed a load of laundry yesterday and then there's no more water. So yeah. we haven't showered or um, yeah, we're all sharing one bathroom. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Thank goodness you went for one saltwater pump, though. Otherwise, like this situation right now, it's so hard because everybody pushes for the freshwater pumps, and I totally understand why. But I'm like, maybe both is the better option. Yeah, so you can choose when to use which one. Exactly. <laughs> God, that absolute lifesaver. So, what is the problem, babe? You've just gotten off the phone to Mike and James from Sea Wind. Uh, the filters are clogged. Yeah. We don't have any spare filters. Yeah. And that essentially means that we. Cannot. Uh, we can't flush the system. We can't flush the system because we don't have any water. So we don't have any water to flush yeah. the system. We have a clogged filter, so I'm going to try it as one last ditch attempt. And I know that I'm going to get pillowed on the internet for this. You can't do that to a system, you'll break it. <laughs> we have no water. So yeah. we're now down to, all right, what can we do in an emergency? And what are we doing? We're cleaning the five, we're cleaning the five micron filter as for James' instruction. Understanding that that may actually completely f the whole system, but they like to put some new membranes in, and that's not my problem. I don't think it's going to come down to a membrane issue. I think that basically we didn't have five filters on our last water maker. It's kind of like break glass in case of emergency. We don't have any water, so we have to try something. Can you explain what the danger is with cleaning the five um, micron? Yeah, so it's got very, very, very small holes in it, right? Yeah. So if you damage it, essentially the holes get bigger. Yeah. And then you end up with shit going through the system. Yeah. So you end up just just completely damaging this. So I mean, I was going to use a salt. I use a, my finger the first time, but I actually don't think I don't. I think these pores are so fine. I actually don't think there's anything to clean. Mm. It's like it's nothing coming off. It's just they're completely blocked. I don't actually think that this is going to do any good. Mm. How about you? Because this is um, issue nine hundred and ninety-five. Yeah, it's something like that. It's. I was just saying to Nikki, like. I feel like it's been a baptism of fire, like getting back into boat life. I felt like this would be like a nice charter kind of style couple of weeks because um, Nick thinks it's air in the system. So do you think it's a filter issue or air in the system or both? Oh, I think the, the air issue is, is new. It's just because we've been taking those filters on. Oh, right. Okay. It just needs to get it all out. Yeah. So you just need to bleed the air out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we just assumed that brand new boat would mean stepping on board and everything works. I mean, it does, but we're having obviously some issues with certain things, like obviously now the water maker. But, but none of the things are like things breaking or not. Like there was an issue with the C zone, which we couldn't sort out because we don't have a PC. But it's all like, I don't want to say this, but I think it's like at least 80% self-inflicted. We put the water maker on the, other, the, on the other day, but then we just didn't realize how empty the tanks were. And then we put the water maker on last night and we did the stupid thing and we went ashore we went to check that it was working and we went ashore and we came back and it wasn't working and so we kind of keep on getting ourselves into these little pickles because i feel like 
we're just a little bit like out of practice we're just not like double checking things we like our issue with the sail the screecher the other day was because we weren't used to furling it and we couldn't see it because from the cockpit you can't see the screecher so we didn't have that like, like visual cue that it was starting to like wrap around itself so it's just like these little things that are not real issues with the boat they're kind of self-inflicted well yeah we're just a bit out of at practice with the whole cruising thing. Well, and also it's just not familiar with all your systems. Yeah. That's yeah. why you're like, is it really the filters that's yeah. with the spectra? And it's like, it's hard because like Seaman builds the boat, but then you've got all, how many other products from Exactly. All, all these third, third party parts. Just little things. What else has happened that we're like, uh, uh yeah, our dinghy davit system is not optimal. Um, and also the clutch isn't we either need to upgrade the line or we need to upgrade the clutch or something because the, the line for the um, davits keeps on slipping in the clutch so we can't it's hard to get the dinghy like really tight up against the davits you have to like grind the winch and that it's actually really tough because the dinghy is super heavy so we need to and it's all on one line so we can't like lift the bow and to drain the water out of the dinghy which obviously is like something that you do often but again these aren't things that you realize until you're actually using it um because you know i mean seaman did a great job it's a very neat solution but it's just not quite working and each dinghy is unique and each dinghy is unique and we've and got different that's right we've got quite a heavy dinghy as we keep on reminding ourselves the important things work really well the boat sails really well she's super comfortable underway like no holes you're not taking on water <laughs> Boat life, cruising on boats is fixing things in exotic locations. And I've always been like, yeah, that's true, but it's like quite like a, everyone kind of trots it out as a little. You're like, oh no. It's, it's so, so, so true. <laughs> just so you know. So just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we broke in so we could see and hear the water run. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Can you just quickly tell me what the last couple of hours of my life have been? Of your life have been, yeah. The last couple of hours of my life have been bezzing around Koh Samui. You would actually, what I would say to you is that the people here are so super kind of like, okay, we'll help you. Like some random guy from a motorbike shop or a Suzuki or Kaga place. Mm -hmm. He's like, go here, I'll help you with this. Like everyone's been trying to help us get these filters. There's a 20 micron filter and a five micron filter. I cannot find another 20, so I'm using a 10 and a five. Well, the water tanks are zero percent. Yeah. Yeah. There is a variation that was showing 3% earlier, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, I've got it set to run for five hours. It's meant to be producing according to this, 16 gallons an hour. I think this means it's making water before it was crossed out and the filter condition is stable. So I think this was blacked out, blocked out before. Okay. And I think when it says water, it actually means it's making water. Right, there's like a water, water symbol. Yes. No, it's working. I think that there's a, look, it's a whole learning process. Yeah. I think that um, firstly, I think the, the initial problem was that uh, we never had any spare my, uh, tree filters mm. and they weren't packed. And then last night when we came back, you know, it seemed to be that there weren't any filters available and you had to order them from Bangkok or some somewhere miles away and get them shipped in. Mm. However, it would appear that you can buy because all the water on this island is filtered, like third party, the 10 inch, 10 inch, two and a half inch filters. So we replaced the filters and... Yes, so basically it's working. We've got ourselves out of a bind. We haven't got to wait for rain. I can wash my stinky ass. We can do laundry because my clothes literally are wandering around like steamboat willy dancing around on deck because they're so salty. Yeah, all good. And our beautiful, patient, diligent and expert crew can get on with whatever they're doing. It's just that, do you know, they're not editing, they're just playing Sudoku. What? Playing Sudoku. World of Warcraft. <laughs> the winds are leaving. Water's spelling. Oh, things are looking good. You're gonna have this boat finally to yourselves. What are you gonna do? We won't know what to do. We will be like, me too, Jason, where are you? Like we did not expect this first week to be so 
hectic. I knew it was going to be hectic, but I thought it would be hectic because we would just have like a lot to learn and we'd be filming loads and we'd have you guys here, which would be like hectic in a fun way. But I did not. Turned out completely. It turned out to be like more yeah. hectic in every single way. Completely. Which made me happy we were here for it because it would have been even nuttier had yeah. you not had a few extra pants on board. Oh, 100%. But, but then, then like a couple of extra brains on board, like you guys have been invaluable. I think though we were a little bit lax. Like there was a time where we would not have set off. You know, like, oh, like, I know, right? change our plans. Yeah. Like, no, like we are definitely erring on the side of extreme caution. We are not going anywhere without stairs, but like literally everything. It's like we all have just enough experience to be like, we yeah. all work out. Oh, this is exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, if we go back in time, like six, seven years ago, first met, that was the moment where we were like, no, we had like five stairs of every time we think of boat. And now we're like, yeah, it's fine. We'll make do. Because the reality yeah. is, that's yeah. exactly it. Exactly. And with this week over, it's time to say goodbye to our dear friends, Nikki and Jason. They have been absolutely amazing in helping us and taught us such a huge amount in a very, very short space of time. But coming up in subsequent episodes, we have, well, another series of trials really created by the fact that, well, we're not used to this catamaran and it is starting to wear us down. Keep watching, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment. See you all next week. I hope you have a a fantastic week whatever you do take care of yourselves goodbye